Hi guys, good morning and happy Mother's Day. Welcome back to my channel, Couponing with Kayla. So we are outside of the Walgreens this morning because even though it is Mother's Day, I really enjoy couponing and my family knows that. And <laughs> that is where I'm at this morning. Now, if you're watching this later in the week, you can still get these deals. They're gonna be good today through Saturday. So you got some time. Anyways, so I'm wearing my cool mom shirt because <laughs> I got this on 90% clearance from Target, I think last year. So I decided to go ahead and wear that today for Mother's Day. Um, my voice, it seems to go in and out this morning. I don't know why, but <laughs> um, you know, I was outside a lot yesterday. So I think all that pollen and everything. Anyways, we're gonna head in here. We are gonna check out some deals. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I'm so happy that you're here. We are gonna save some money, so stay tuned. Plus, I'll go over the receipt with you guys once we get done and talk final cause, let you know if there's any issues to watch out for. We're gonna look at newbie friendly deals, spin booster deals, all of that good stuff. So let's go ahead, let's get in the store, check this out. And if you're new, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button below if you enjoyed today's video and give it a big thumbs up. Comment below and let me know what your favorite deal is and we're gonna see what all we can pick up. You guys, check out what I just found on the ground right here, crumpled up. I spent 25 get eight. All right, guys, so the first deal we're looking at is on Hallmark cards. Go ahead and grab a few of these Mother's Day cards if you have some digital coupons on your Walgreens account. We are gonna use this 20% off of a $10 or more regular price merchandise. Um, even if you've already bought Mother's Day cards, put these back for next year. Three of them at $3.99 each will total me $11.97. The 10% off, or I'm sorry, 20% off will take off $2.40. I have a five off two digital and a $3 digital. You might have three dollar digitals it'll make it cheaper but with that my final cost will be a dollar 57 for all three of these nice. all right guys so the next deal we're gonna do is on razors they are buy two get ten dollars walgreens cash okay this is an awesome deal you can pay with walgreens cash on this deal if you want we're gonna grab one of the gillette razors now the cheapest ones here at my store are like 12 bucks you might be able to get a cheaper one but i'm gonna grab this one for 12 dollars. but there are other options they have this one over here um, for 13 which it looks almost the same as this one and then they also have another option over here for 13 as well so depending on which one you want to get i'm probably going to get the 12 dollars one but just so you can see there are other ones available like this one right here the next thing we're going to do is grab a women's venus gillette razor and the cheapest ones here at my store are 11 dollars. so i'm going to grab one of these at 11 dollars and one of the 12 dollars men's razors all right, guys, so these two items right here total us $23. We have two $3 digital coupons, so we're going to pay $17. You can pay with Walgreens cash. It's a buy deal, so it's a buy to get $10 Walgreens cash. You're going to get back that $10 Walgreens cash and after paying $17, and that's going to be a final cost of $7 for two, or you can use a spin booster on this. If you use a spin booster, you don't want to pay with Walgreens cash, but it can make it an even better deal. Next up, we're going to grab some toothbrushes, buy two, get a $3 register reward on these Oral-B. So two of these will total $6. We have a $3 digital, so you're going to pay $3. You're going to get back a $3 register reward, and it's going to make your final cost completely free. Next, if you can find a couple of these Complete Care Arm & Hammer toothbrushes or toothpaste at your store for $2.99, this is a pretty good deal. Now, you can buy just one, but with this one, it's $2.99, so two would be $5.98. We have $1.50 back on each on Ibotta, but we also have $3 back on Swagbucks, but it's only for the Complete Care ones, so these could end up being completely free for you if you can find them in your store. Next up, we are doing a gain deal. Now, with this gain deal, we are going to go ahead and pick up four gain products. So you can get the liquid one here. Um, the digitals that we have, we have a dollar off of the liquid. We have a dollar off of like fabric softener or dryer sheets, things like that. Um, my store's out of a few of the options, so I'll probably get the fabric softener. Um, and then you can also grab some of the gain flings, and we have a dollar digital for this one as well. 
All right, guys, so these are the four gain products that I'm going to pick up. Now, these are $5.49 each, so four will total you $21.96. We have three digital coupons. We are going to pay $18.96, but earn a $5 register reward for buying four, making the final cost $13.96 for four, and you can pay with Walgreens cash on this. Now, guys, I do want to remind you, a lot of the deals this week are deals of the week, so make sure you don't do the deals of the week in the same transaction together. These Pampers, for example, are a deal of the week as well. They're two for $21, and we have a $3 digital coupon. You're going to go ahead and use that. You can pay with Walgreens cash. Then you're going to submit your receipt over to Ibotta, where you're going to get $1.50 back on each pack. So that's $3 back on Ibotta when you buy two. Plus, you're earning that $4 register reward. It's going to make your final cost just $11 for both packs or just $5.50 a pack. Another deal that we have this week, now I didn't put it together a scenario for this, but it's spend 25, get a $10 register reward. So if you want to see what items are participating, you could always put together a scenario, especially if you have the spend 25, get 10 booster. Next, uh, we have a couple of head and shoulder deals. So these right here, the Supreme kind, buy one, get one 50% off. They're one of the deals of the week. Buy two, get a $4 register reward. Now these would total you $16.48, but check your digitals. I have a $2 digital and a 250 digital so if you have those it's going to take 450 off you'd pay 1198 submit to ibotta for 350 back and you get a four dollar register reward making it 448 for both so you can pay with walgreens cash on this deal as well so a pretty good savings now we're going to look at another one so another head and shoulders deal these are a little cheaper um they're at 779 so buy one get one 50 percent off your second one would be 389 so that totals you 1168 now on this one i have a two dollar digital and a one dollar digital so what you would want to do is you would go ahead use those and then you are going to get back on i bought a dollar fifty plus you're going to get that four dollar register reward so it would be 318 for both of these and you can pay with walgreens cash so if you like head and shoulders there's a couple of options for you so next i'm going to pick up some nexus because it is spend 25 get a 10 dollars register reward now with the nexus they're on sale for 16 dollars each they're pretty pricey right so two of these will total me 32 dollars. we got a new digital coupon for eight dollars off two so with that being said our total will go down to 24 dollars. we'll earn that 10 dollars register reward which leaves you at 14 dollars. but if you have a booster that is spend 25 get 10 back you could get as low as four dollars for the two of these all right guys so this is how my cart is looking i'm going to do a few separate transactions today and i do have a few boosters so i have my 20 percent off coupon that i'm going to use on those mother's day cards so that's going to be one thing i'm going to do um and as always i'll go over these transactions with you at the house and we'll see what our cost is but i also got this spend 30 get nine booster and this one i'm going to pair up with a spend 25 get 10 booster on my account i'm also going to use the spend 25 get eight booster that i found on the ground <laughs> and also i'm going to use another spin 25 get eight booster that i got the other day and pair it up with the digital spin 25 get eight or get 10 sorry i'm looking at the eight dollar one anyways let's go check out all right guys so we are back in the car from walgreens the transactions went so good today i'm pretty sure that all my digitals came off i got all my walgreens cash i got all my register rewards so it is a good day over at walgreens they were like happy mother's day kayla i'm gonna let your transactions go good anyways we're about to head home we're gonna go over the receipt and we're gonna talk final cost of all of our items we're gonna go over each receipt talk about how much we're getting back how much we paid just a heads up my out-of-pocket was a little higher today but that is because i accidentally left my manufacturer register rewards at home so i couldn't use those to help lower my out-of-pocket cost today so there's that but otherwise um everything went really great so let's go ahead let's go home and look over the receipt all right guys so i am back home and this is my walgreens haul for this week we're going to go ahead and go over the receipt and we're going to talk final cost of all of our items so i did four separate transactions today you don't have to do separate transactions for everything but just keep in mind if you're doing deals that are deals of the week you want to do those separately for example like the venus and gillette razors and the oral b toothbrushes they're both deals of the week this week so just keep that in mind when you are doing your deals that way your reward prints for each deal that you're doing now for the first transaction that I did I picked up the Venus and Gillette razors and I picked up the Arm & Hammer complete care toothpaste 
So that was everything for my first transaction, these two razors and the one toothpaste. So you can see my receipt here for those items. We had one for 12, one for 11, and the toothpaste for $2.99, and I had two $3 digital coupons. Now on this one, I did give her a spend 25, get $8 Walgreens Cash paper booster, and I was using a spend 25, get $10 Walgreens Cash digital booster. So with boosters like that, if you have one paper booster and one digital booster, they will stack together. You just have to spend the amount of the highest booster. In this case, they were both $25, so I only needed to be at $25 before manufacture coupons. So I went ahead and paid that $19.99 out of pocket. I forgot my register rewards at home today, so I couldn't lower my out of pocket cost. Um, so I went ahead, just paid that with my PayPal debit card, because that's how I do for my couponing, my rebates, and all of that. Um, on this transaction, it doesn't show my Walgreens cash at the bottom, but I got back $28.25 in Walgreens cash, and I'll pop that up on the screen. That was $10 Walgreens cash for the digital booster, $8 Walgreens cash for my paper booster, and $10 Walgreens cash for the Venus and Gillette deal. Then I submitted my receipt to Swagbucks for a dollar back on the Arm & Hammer toothpaste, and $1.50 back on Ibotta. So overall, that transaction was completely free and a $10.76 moneymaker, you guys. Such a good deal. I was really, 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 really happy with that deal. And even if you only had one booster, you're still gonna come out great for that deal on the two razors and the one toothpaste. Now, on my second transaction, it was done on the same account as that one. I did that one on my main account. I did my next deal on my main account with the gain and the oral B. So the gain deal this week is not a deal of the week. So I went ahead and I did it with the oral B deal. And for this one, I had a spend 25, get eight paper booster, no digital booster on this one because I had already used my spend 25, get 10 digital booster on the first transaction. So this one was just one paper booster. On this one, you can see right here, my digital coupons, $3 off for the Oral-B and three $1 digital coupons for gain. That got me down to $21.96. I paid that with my PayPal debit card. And on this one, we earned back $8.27 in Walgreens cash. $8 of that was our booster. So then I did get a couple of register rewards on this transaction. On this one, I earned back a $3 and $5 register reward, $3 for the Oral-B and $5 for the gain. They're both manufacturer register rewards, as you can see there at the top of the coupon. So with that being said, we're gonna take that $21.96 we paid, subtract $8.27 Walgreens cash, $5 register reward, $3 register reward, and that made my final cost for four gain products and two toothbrushes just $5.69. So I think that was a really good deal for those products. Then I did two more transactions and these I did on a separate account. The reason I did these on a separate account is because I had another spend 25, get 10 digital booster on another account and I used it for this Nexus right here. So let's go ahead and take a look at this one. So again, we're using a digital booster of spend 25, get 10. Those are one time use when they're on your account like that. And then I had a paper booster for spend 30, get $9 Walgreens cash. So my total was $32 before manufacturer coupons on this, at those being $16 each. I had an $8 digital coupon for Nexus, which brought us down to $24. Now I paid that with my PayPal debit card, and on this one I earned back $19.32 in Walgreens cash. That was $10 Walgreens cash for the booster, and then $9 Walgreens cash for for the paper booster. Then on this one, we earned a register reward because remember it was uh, spend 20, I think it was, was it spend 25, get $10? And a register reward? I believe so. Anyways, so on this one, we got this $10 register reward, and it is a manufacturer register reward you can use on another purchase. So with that one, we take 
let's see, $24 minus a $10 register reward minus $19.32 in Walgreens cash made the Nexus completely free and a $5.32 moneymaker for me. So that was really, really awesome. I was really happy with that deal. Then I went on to do my Hallmark deal with the three cards right here. They're all Mother's Day cards. And with these, they were normally $3.99 each. Now I used that booster, um, or well, coupon of 20% off a $10 or more regular price merchandise coupon and that took off $2.40. Then for digital coupons, I had a five off two digital and a $3 off one digital. Now you may have several three off one digitals that will work better for you, but remember those are Mother's Day coupons, so they're probably gonna expire today on Mother's Day. So if you have them, use them up. Then I was left to pay just $1.57 for all three cards. I think that's a fantastic deal because even at Dollar Tree, you're looking at paying a dollar a card or $1.25 a card or whatever. And we got three Hallmark cards for just $1.57. After tax, my um, total was a little over $2. So you can see right down here, I did use $2 Walgreens cash to pay. So overall on my transactions, we had transaction number one, a 1076 moneymaker. Transaction number two cost us $5.69. Transaction number three was a $5.32 moneymaker. And then transaction four cost us $1.57. Now, overall between our two moneymaker deals, that was a $16.08 moneymaker. And then our two deals that cost us were $5.69 and $1.57, bringing us to completely free and an $8.82 moneymaker for everything that you see right here. So I'm very, very happy with that. We got hair care, we got oral care, we got personal care, we got laundry care, and some Mother's Day cards to put back for next year. So let me know down in the comments below if you're going to do any of these same deals. And as as always i appreciate you guys so so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye guys